Florida Power and Light is once again making history, opening three new county solar energy centers right here on the Sun Coast. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates joins us not only with the details about the new plant, but a big announcement from the company. Bo Beth. Yes, FPL says they are committed to their customers and energy or cleaner energy, and they're investing resources to back up the statement. And in fact, I'm here to announce that we're going to double down. Florida Power & Light CEO Eric Solagi is wasting no time. As the group celebrated the 1 million new solar panels it recently installed, Solagi made a commitment to add even more. This year we're going to build four more of these, and I announced today that we're actually going to double down, and we're going to build four more of those, so a total of eight sites in the next about 18 months. The sites being referred to are the Universal Solar Power Plants. Monday, the company celebrated the opening of its three most recent solar plants, which are in Manatee, DeSoto, and Charlotte counties. Combined, they have the capacity to generate electricity to power about 45,000 homes. We're producing power today with no emissions from these panels right behind me, and they're using no water, and it's going into the grid. FPL officials say not only are the new solar panels good for the environment, but they're also economical. The solar energy centers that we're building around the state are cost effective, which means for customers, there'll be no net cost because they will pay for themselves in fuel savings. From the cost savings to cleaner energy, FPL says it's committed to doing what's right, and its officials say their goal is to make a difference. Having clean energy is, I believe, not only the right thing to do, but it's also a smart thing to do for business. Florida is a state that relies on people coming here to visit. Well, tourists don't want to come to a place where the air is foul or the beaches aren't clean. Now, as part of the celebration for FPL's new solar plants, they also held an opening ceremony and a sponsored student competition for kids from all over the state to showcase their cooking skills using solar energy.